are going to actually sit down and listen to Elvis Presley singing for the first time in my life ever. Now wait, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hack in comments. Flap? Hack? Have I heard Elvis before? Yes, I have, but he's always been a caricature in my life and I've never actually sat down and listened to a song. The most familiar I am with his music is from like Vegas, Elvis, blah, blah, blah. When I was learning to play the piano, we had a song book and in the book was Love Me Tender. So I remember learning to play the notes of Love Me Tender. And again, I hadn't actually heard Elvis sing it. So I know the songs, like we're gonna listen to Hound Dog today. And I've actually seen the movie Hound Dog with Elle Fanning, which is like the most disturbing movie ever. So I have heard this song before. How am I gonna approach the title? Like, it's very difficult. Cause if you just go first time actually sitting down listening to Elvis's Hound Dog, it's too long of a title. They won't actually let you put that in. Maybe that specific, there's a word count, a letter count. I think I'm gonna have to specify with this one cause people, most people get it. Like it's the first time you're actually sitting down and listening to the song. Also something I'm interested in is Elvis Presley was a pinup for a lot of people, right? And again, to me, he's always been this caricature. And I know in recent years, there's been like more backlash about the fact that he met Priscilla when she was like 14 and he was a grown man. I have not watched all of the Elvis biopics. I don't like biopics. I'm gonna just put that out there. Like I am a film buff. However little I know about music for these reasons, I know a whole lot about film. I have a master's in film. I have a degree, an undergrad in film. I know a lot about film, but I do not like biopics because I do feel they just pander to the awards shows. Like, and they're very much like a vehicle for actors to be, look how good I acted. I acted just like this person, IRL. I know there was a whole thing about that Elvis movie where the guy was like learning to talk like Elvis and now he can't get out of talking like Elvis. Method acting, that's a whole conversation for another day. But anyway, we are going to check out Elvis singing his song that I think this is the song that made him famous, if I'm not wrong. Like this was his first breakout song, right? Hound Dog. And I'm interested to see, I know this sounds really superficial, but do I fancy him? Because I know the cartoon of Elvis and I've seen pictures of Elvis, but I haven't actually like looked at him before as a human really. <laughs> Just as the icon. So let's check it out. I believe, but I could be fact checked on this, that this is one of Elvis's first television appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1956. That's a show a lot of you guys have asked me to react to in itself. So let me know below in the comments if you do want me to. Also, while you're down there, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, help the algorithm monster. And if you want to hear more about me and behind the scenes and what goes on, do check out patreon.com slash Jennings. We've also just released a new line of merch, which you can check out too. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Is that Ed? Yes, that's right. Elvis Presley. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, could I have your attention, please? Uh, I'd like to tell you that we're going to do a sad song for you. This song here is one of the saddest songs we've ever heard. It really tells a story, friends. Beautiful lyrics. It goes something like this. I know that one. I remember that in the movie. You ain't nothing but a
screaming your dick himself. Uh, I'd like to tell you, friends. I'd like to tell you, please, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you that on Thanksgiving Day, I think that our new picture is to be released. And, uh, and also, we'll be back with Mr. Ed Sullivan in January. I'd like to thank all the millions of wonderful people that are watching in tonight, friends. And, uh, and uh, I'd like to say this, until we meet you again, may God bless you as he's blessed me. Thank you very much. Well, he was quite the showman. I mean, that was his whole thing, wasn't it? I know there was a lot of conversation about how his dance moves came from black culture. So that's really interesting. Let's look into a little bit more about Hound Dog and indeed Elvis. I can't believe how short the song was. Like, the song itself had to be like a minute long. He was a good dancer though, right? Like a very good dancer. A good singer. So charming. Just all about the charmingness. The song was written for a woman to sing in which she berates her selfish, exploitative man, and in it she expresses a woman's rejection of the man, a metaphorical dog in the title. That is super interesting, and I think we're honing in here on some of Elvis's appeal, particularly to female fans. So it seems he presented that song through the female gaze which actually for a male songwriter certainly at that time was quite unique i believe what was the high class thing i'd never heard that lyric before in my life the high class thing so a hound dog is a type of hunting dog that chases after prey the singer implies the lover is a low life a scoundrel or a dog in heat that has no loyalty or respect for the singer the song is a cover well, knock me over with a pogo stick. Is that how the saying goes? I never knew it was a cover. A cover of a blues song by Big Mama Thornton, which was written by Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller in 1952. Stop. Elvis's biggest hit, arguably, was a cover? Wow. That has actually knocked me for six. I feel like he's such a legend at this point that everything you could say about him has probably become an iconic thing. Okay, so he starred in 31 feature films and two concert documentaries. Oh, he was born in Mississippi? I don't know why that's surprising. I would have thought he was born in like one of the big cities. Is Mississippi considered a big city? I don't know. I would have thought he was like from... Well, no, I guess I knew he was a country boy. Lisa Marie. That's who I was just thinking of when I was looking at him. His daughter is like the same face as Elvis like they share a face right like she's a beautiful woman and he's a very handsome man but somehow they share the same face I mean that's DNA right oh Heartbreak Hotel was his first gold record what Elvis had a twin I've never heard that information before Elvis Aaron was born at his parents two-bedroom house in Mississippi about 35 minutes after his identical twin brother. This is like a plot of a movie. No wonder they've made so many movies about Elvis. Jesse Garin, who is stillborn. Oh, okay, well, that's really sad. And also, that's probably why I've never heard of that. I mean that in like a very sincere way, sorry. That sounded like I was trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny. Like that is very sad. Elvis spoke of his twin throughout his life, but grew up an only child in a poor family. Wow. That was unusual at the time, right? to be an only child that didn't happen very often i guess perhaps the passing of one of the twins really affected them or maybe it was a biological issue i want the comments below to be full of information because there's so much of it and i'm sure you guys know much more than i do elvis attended hume's high school and failed music class he was considered quiet and an outsider interesting after graduating he worked at a machinist shop and drove a truck Wow. Elvis bought Graceland when he was 22. I know about Graceland. Elvis served in the army after he became famous. What? That's wild. Elvis was drafted? Wow. I feel like I've seen him in a uniform in pictures, but I thought it was just for the pose. Like, for the picture? Oh, he was granted emergency leave to visit his mother who was in poor health. Elvis never performed outside of North America. That's wild. Oh. 
Elvis's manager may have turned down the lucrative offers to sing abroad because he himself was an undocumented immigrant and feared he wouldn't be allowed back into the US if he traveled overseas. Wow. Elvis was burned in an effigy after his appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show. That one there? Why? Sullivan had previously said he would not book the hip swiveling lip curling singer on his family oriented TV variety show. He relented after competitor Steve Allen featured Elvis on his show in July 1956 and clobbered Sullivan in the ratings. When Elvis made his first appearance, 60 million people, more than 80% of the TV viewing audience tuned in. As it happened, Sullivan, who had been injured in a car accident that August, was unable to host the show. Oh, that wasn't Ed Sullivan in the video? After the singer made his second appearance in October, crowds in Nashville and St. Louis, outraged by the singer's sexy performance and concerned that rock music would corrupt America's teens, burned and hanged Elvis in an effigy. The singer made his final appearance on Sullivan's show in January 1957. And at this time, the network censors demanded he be filmed from the waist up. So silly. Despite this requirement, at the end of the program, Sullivan gave the entertainer a special nod telling the audience Elvis was a real decent fine boy and letting him know we've never had a pleasanter experience on our show with a big name than we've had with you. Well, that's good to hear that he was polite. Whoa, I could just keep going and going. There's so much to learn about Elvis. So let me know below in comments if there's another particular song of his you might like me to react to or indeed a specific performance. That was super short. I can't believe how short it was, but I'm sure there will be some Elvis heads. What is the collective known as? Like, do you have a name as a fan base? But yeah, let's dig deeper potentially if you want to. A huge shout out today to the executive producers of this channel, the Karmic Gold Crew from Patreon. They literally are the backers of the channel. I could not make these music reactions without them. These videos generally make zero euro for me. So thank you to each and every one of you. Good karma is coming your way. Lots of nice things happening. Sending them at you through the universe from me and Chewy. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye.